Who is eligible? Fire departments of all types may apply, including volunteer, career, or combination. Volunteer firefighter associations or interest groups are also eligible for volunteer recruitment grants. To apply, you must first read the Fiscal Year 2010 Safer Program Guidance and Application Kit on the firegrantsupport.com website. This guidance is your map to writing a successful grant application. It includes the most recent information on eligibility. Safer grants can help fire departments meet or improve compliance with basic national standards by providing grant funding that focuses on frontline firefighter staffing and deployment. If you don't know if your department has sufficient firefighters to meet the specific standards covered by the Safer Grant Program, you will need to find out. An explanation of these standards can be found on the website of the National Fire Protection Association at www.nfpa.org. However, you must check the 2010 Safer Program guidance to be sure you know which standards apply. Talk to your fire chief about how your department measures up to those standards. How many firefighters on average can you assemble on the scene of a structure fire? How long does it take for the initial full alarm complement to arrive? To apply for a grant, it's important to know how many firefighters you need to hire or recruit to meet the standards. Grants can be used to rehire firefighters who were laid off, retain positions that are scheduled to be laid off, fill positions lost due to attrition, such as retirement, hire new firefighters, or recruit and retain volunteer firefighters. A safer hiring grant will pay 100% of the salaries and benefits for each position funded, excluding overtime, for the entire two years of the grant. There's no cost share and no salary limits or caps. The number of firefighters you can gain will depend on the amount of data your department has collected to justify your need for support. You must also show that you cannot afford to rehire or hire new firefighters without federal financial assistance. The rules for safer grants have changed from previous years. For the most comprehensive and updated information, please refer to the Safer Program Guidance and Application Kit. Perhaps you need more volunteers to meet the demands of your community. Maybe you need a good recruitment program. The Safer Grant program can help you here as well. Do you want a proactive program to recruit and retain volunteers? Then you need to develop a specific plan. You might think about asking for funds to hire someone to coordinate your volunteer program. A good volunteer program requires a commitment of time and hard work to make it a reality. Talk to your volunteers. Ask them, what do you need to stay involved? What would keep them volunteering with the department? Is it time? Money? Would they like more training? The Safer Grant program can be used to cover all sorts of benefits or incentives for up to four years. Here are examples of expenses that can be covered by the Safer Recruitment and Retention Grant if included in the proposal. Insurance coverage, such as health, accidental death and disability, and life insurance. Tuition assistance, fuel stipends, reimbursement for wages lost in order to respond to emergency calls or to attend required training, physicals for new firefighter recruits, turnout gear for new firefighters, marketing and outreach for recruiting volunteers. You will find all of the information you need to apply for a safer grant on the website at www.firegrantsupport.com. A web-based tutorial will walk you through key information on completing the online grant application, links to the safer program guidance, and information about previous safer grantees are also on this website. Review the program guidance carefully. It is easy to overlook details that may be critical to your application. Plan ahead and get support from your department and community. Make sure that you are eligible for everything you want to request. This is a competitive grant program. Your application will be evaluated and scored by fire service personnel from around the country. Funding will be awarded to those with the highest scores. 
You will be asked to provide details about your organization and project in a narrative statement. In the long run, the potential gain is worth more than the cost of the time and effort. Now is the time to apply. Go to the website at www.firegrantsupport.com and get started. Thank you.